Okay, in this video, I just wanted to introduce you all to some of my greatest teachers. These are my kitties, and I love each and every one of them in a special way. If you just sit and watch cats or dogs or any other animals, it's really therapeutic and meditative because they are always they're always present to the moment you know they're not thinking about the future they're not thinking about the past they're not thinking about anything except wanting to be loved and taken care of and to be petted and you know they're just they're so present to the moment which is what makes them so amazing because that is where we all need to try and be more is in the present moment instead of projecting our thoughts into the future which is just imagination or projecting our thoughts into the past which are just memories most of which we need to move on from and quit hanging on to and that is exactly what animals can teach us. Sometimes early in the mornings, I'll get up and I have an inside cat named Nina and I'll just watch her because she is just, she's just so sweet and she has such a good little cat energy about her. And you know, she's just, she's sleeping or she'll get up and she'll stretch and she'll, you know, wanna go in the kitchen and get her, her food and get some water and then she, you know she'll play for a minute and then she'll go back to sleep and it's just so cool how you know this morning I was just looking at her and I was thinking you know you have you have no bills um, you know you don't have any kids you don't have a husband you have you know you have zero responsibilities except just to be exactly who you are whoever you want to be you, you know, sleep, you play, um, you know, you, you, you're always in the present moment. And I just love that about animals. They're just, they're such great little teachers for us. And so I just wanted to encourage you, if you never just stop and watch your pet, just try to wrap your brain around what it must be like to literally not have a care in the world. You know, they're just present to the moment. They're not projecting their thought energy anywhere else. They're not blaming anyone for anything. They have no anger. They're not bitter. They're just happy and just want our love and attention and to be fed and watered and to just be companions and our friends and, and not worry about anything else. And it's just amazing. It's really cool to think about them in that way if you never have. So just a quick video on that. Let me give you another quick little, now they're over there. That's Peepers right here. She's one of my oldest girls. She's about three years old. These are actually all my cats. All six of my cats are actually brothers and sisters. So you see them in my videos a lot. We had another one named Shelby and he actually got ran over so we've been dealing with that loss and we've been pretty upset about it of course um, this is Harry right here he's in a lot of my videos because he just is so lovable and he just wants me to hold him all the time he just wants love that is it and this is um, Strider back here the darker black with the gray and she is She's one of those, she, she was very lovable if you catch her in the right mood. If she's not in the right mood for it, she's not having it. But if you catch her in the right mood and you pick her up and you hold her, she'll stay in your arms for just as long, you know, as you'll let her. And this is, well, Pumpkin is uh, grooming herself right here. And we've got Gollum over there. See who's missing? Tiger. Tiger is our big male cat, and he is off somewhere asleep. I think I see him way off on the porch asleep. But we've got some cows out here. Also, you can't see, but my hippie girl, my horse, is way, way, way out there. 
She is very social and she loves um, if we have other cows in the different pastures that surround us in the in the back of our home and um, if the cows come close to the fence she always wants to be let out so that she can go and communicate with them and it's really awesome because I can tell she's a a calf person she's like a kid person but a calf person because wherever she gets by the fence it will always be the little calves that will be sitting there um, you know next to her trying to communicate through the fence or whatever they're doing and I think it's so cool because you can tell they're communicating in some way you know we don't understand it we we can't see it but they're communicating in some way because um, you know they'll just be right there with her so anyway here's pumpkin hi pumpkin pumpkin is peeper's sister the older set of kittens and then I have a younger set of kittens and they're the ones that their mother had passed away um, from our neighbor's dog when we used to live in town um, when they were just little tiny kittens so I've raised them literally they're my babies I've raised them since they were tiny tiny so another view oh pumpkin found something over there she's working on this area is kind of, we had a burn pile over here, so it's kind of in disarray. But anyway, there you have it. Just wanted to give you a little behind the scenes look. And I will see you on the next video. Meow. And this is Daryl. I didn't want to leave Daryl out. He's a good puppy. My husband actually uses him for cattle work. So he's a working dog. But he's off today. This summer. She's very old. But she's a sweet girl. Summer, turn around so we can see your beautiful face. Summer! Aww. Sweet girl. Here's Tiger. There he is. He's a good boy. He's a really good boy. Hi, sweetie. This is Nina. She was asleep on a laundry pile that I was working on earlier. It's my sweet indoor kitty.